So hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And yes, it's Harold, and welcome back to our channel. It's deja vu. Alam nyo ba lately, maganda ang weather and then, yeah, pero tinatambal lang akong lumabas. I don't know why. It's maybe because of, you know, the adulting part of your life na parang gusto mo lang ano, magpahinga or matulog or kumain or manood ng movie. Kasi you kind of think like if lalabas ako, it's all the same stuff that I will be seeing. And plus, ano ako, medyo may pagka... Impulsive buyer, somehow, <laughs> nakapag, may nakita ako sa umbili na kan. So, lately, I, I kind of like prefer, 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 <laughs> prefer to stay at home and then just, you know, do my stuff. And actually, I'm preparing for something and yeah, hopefully I can re reveal it to you soon. It's kind of like another shift of my um, part or life as being a nurse. For today, um, una pala, coffee muna tayo. coffee. Oh, I love coffee. Anyway, um, yeah, to be honest, um, I think for in my life, siguro, yung pinaka toughest years na I had is number one, is yung naalat yung bahay namin Aww. back when I was in elementary. And, and we were lucky at the time because I, I do believe like things happen for a reason. Siguro kung hindi kami ginising ng lola ko at that, that day, para matulog sa bahay niya, siguro wala ako ngayon. Because like an hour after of that one, there was a flash flood and yes, naanod yung bahay namin. So, that's one. Second siguro, when I was in a long distance relationship, yeah, that was also tough. And I think the third one, that I would say, the toughest um, years of my life, toughest, toughest, yeah, yeah, <laughs> in my life is siguro this year, okay? We all know the fact that this year was just too much for everybody, for everyone, um, in all walks of life. Talagang grabe tong year na to, um, starting with this COVID thing. Na talagang, I would say, na because of COVID, this, I think this is the first, siguro, you know, infectious disease. We call it infectious because it's can, it can be transmitted from one person to another. Anyway. It's the first disease I would say in my life na I can say the world stop for a minute, for an hour, for a couple of days, for or even month, months. It's because of the restrictions from here and there affecting, you know, travel in 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 different countries. So even me like I I, I would like to travel. Travel, travel, travel. <laughs> Even me, like I would like to travel as much as I can, but um, the thing is, you know, you always you always have this fear that what if you will get it, or what if along the way, you know, you you'll meet someone who has it, and then you will be getting it. But I'm, I'm, if you ask me if I'm afraid, actually I'm not, because maybe that's an advantage of being a nurse. <laughs> Because you know what the infection is all about, you know what to do, um, you know what to monitor. So maybe yan lang. But for the for the rest guys, like for maybe those people who are, who are just like working in you know, normal jobs, um, they have their own professions and all. So to, it's been a, a scary year, on which I want to understand. But I can't even imagine na na close down in the hospitals. Not closer in a way that we don't admit patients, but you know, restrictions, we're not allowing visitations. It's really hard, especially for our patients, not to be able to see their their family, their relatives for how many months now. It's because we're on this, you know, on and off, on and off restrictions. And if you're thinking that hospital is the safest place, I think it's not because hospital is not an ideal place for, for 
everyone as much as you can you have to stay away from the hospital unless if if you're really sick <laughs> that's just my perspective and also i come to think of it like yung mga nursing homes in dito like close so it's been a tough um, year emotionally draining as well. but the good side is that we people me and you basically we have this awakening should i say or we have this awareness awareness now on the importance of hand washing the importance of personal hygiene and the importance of keeping yourself safe because of that you know fear that we might have it i say i don't know this is just my opinion um, we ordinary people are not really kind of like obsessed with that one um, even me in the hospital i i'll be honest like we have alcohol gels and we use it from time to time but it is really this year now we have to rub our hands from time to time i mean like oh i touched this one i need to you know put hand hand um, hand gel oh i touched this one or before the patients after the patients i touched this and i touched that but even in the, in the supermarket like even if you before you touch something else you won't be thinking okay i need to do my hand gel first which is you know making people more aware of the importance of hygiene and for me that's a good one and that came up because of this covid thing but then again we we still have to be thankful because of the reality that you know we're still here we survive it you know we we manage to to get on with our lives despite you know the the the, the stigma and the fear of of this coronavirus thing and see it's december now it's like the, the 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 covid started march and then everything just stopped you know work here work there stay at home um limit visitations restrictions and phew, it's december guys it's christmas like time flies so fast because and because of the covid and we never really really notice it Sa Pilipinas nga, sinasabi natin di ba na Filipinos are the most resilient people in the world. I think guys, yeah, in every aspect of life, work, um, emotional, um, physical, ano pa ba, we, we are really good on adopt, uh, adapting to whatever is happening around us. And that's what I'm proud of, of being a Filipino because wherever I go, no matter what the situation is, I always tend to look at the brighter side of everything. So my point is, um, challenges normally happens to everyone. Um, no one is exempted for a challenge, I think, in this life. Um, we always have the challenge from time to time. And the challenge is actually, you know, making us kind of more stronger, you know, making us better. Uh, making us, you know, better person or better version of ourselves. And if there's one thing I learned about challenges is that um, it's not really meant to pull you down. Like people usually think of challenges like as a failure because if they can't cope with a challenge then they call themselves losers. They call themselves um, failures but eventually it's not. Challenges for me is actually like it's just teaching us how to be better, how to be you know stronger, how to be more versatile on what is happening around us and makes us better on the coming situations that you know will come up in our life when you face a challenge if you can um, it depends actually like it's always better when you have someone you know to to give you wisdom to give you ideas and that that's where your friends you know will help you a lot um, giving advices. Um, I always believe na ano, no man is an island. I always believe in that. So I know some people are good at you know managing or challenging or faces challenge on their own and then manage it very well. But for some, it's not really that easy. So guys, if you have you know problems, if you want to open up something, um, never never afraid to speak out to someone who who think like can comfort you in a little way para you know the burden will be lifted 
Ano ba yan? Parang ano? Bible study? <laughs> but anyway guys, that's my message for this vlog. Um, it, it's a bit serious, should I say. But yeah, um, happy Christmas. And then, um, be tough, tougher, and be the toughest. Alright, in your own way. Um, I know we, we navigate our own waters in life. Uh, that's one thing. I have my own, I have my own um, ship to command. You have your own ship as well. And then, yeah. We, we have our own waters to navigate but yeah be a good captain of yourself you're, you're the captain of your own ship you're, a cap, you're the captain of, of your own navigations I know basically this will this will end soon and then just hang on there and yeah let's face guys you watching this one and supporting my channel let's face the the new year soon with a, a, a smile on our face and then you know say it proudly that no matter what happened, I'll face the challenge and I'll stay strong. Thank you so much for watching this. Coffee. Have a good day. It's